All right, people out there that are following the Ammon Bundy trial with the other protesters from Oregon and the Cliven Bundy issue from Nevada, um, this is their Legal Defense Fund update. They're not getting a whole lot of donations uh, since the last time I updated it, although they're a lot closer to their goal. They're almost to 100,000. That's what their goal is. So, I mean, they set a reasonable goal and they've just about got there. So I'm proud of them for that. I'm proud of them for standing up for these things. Um, I just wanted to show how this is kicking off major investigations. Um, and major investigations that have already been going on reflect on what's going on here. So Harry Reid has been investigated and is under a probe right now. Uh, Harry Reid plots federal land grab near Bundy Ranch. Um, after he retires recently, I mean, he abruptly retired. Nobody expected this, uh, but he recently um, retired. Democrat Senator Harry Reid linked to investigation of corruption. Um, and that has to do with Jeremy Johnson, who was just found innocent on a bunch of these charges. But the F uh, FCC tried to take all this guy's assets and uh make the, and, and uh, I'm sorry, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC and the FCC also for internet transactions, but they tried to seize a whole, well, they did seize a whole bunch of his assets and they sold them off before he was even convicted. Anyway, he's now been cleared on all these fraud charges. The reason why they took his assets is because they said he was guilty of fraud. Well, a ju jury just acquitted him on like 78 counts, uh, conspiracy, wire fraud, bank fraud, and money laundering. All those counts were uh, dismissed, but he is being charged with with eight counts of uh, false information to a bank, making a false statement to a bank. So eight counts is all he has out of the 86 he was charged with, left to deal with. Um, these. So anyway, this is where it starts, is with these politicians. Um, you can see two ex-attorney generals got arrested over this. This issue with Harry Reid, where um, Jeremy Johnson has evidence, proof of paying off these politicians to get a, a deal in court on these um, FTC charges, these Federal Trade Commission charges, that went all the way up to Harry Reid. But these two got arrested for it and lost their job. Um, John Swallow lost his job, and both of them, Mike Shirtliff, or Mark Shirtlift and... Um, John Swallow, both of them uh, got arrested. So, it, and it went up to Harry Reid. They've confessed. Both of them have put out information that Harry Reid was on the take as well. And now he's getting investigated. So, um, it's, there's no doubt why he's recently retired. And uh, it, I think it was crazy. I'll play you this. This clip is awesome. Courthouse with the latest. Ben. Yeah, the jury delivered a split verdict between, amongst Jeremy Johnson and one of his co-defendants, but both prosecutors and the defense are claiming victory tonight. I feel good. I feel like the jury um, had an extremely difficult job, um, and they did the very best that they could. Jeremy Johnson reacted to the jury's verdict, finding him guilty on eight counts of making a false... Anyway, so I'm sure there's an appeal coming up, but he was found innocent on 78 of the 86 charges. So that they were trying to rob this guy. They took, I, I think, something like uh, $28 million worth of assets, or maybe it was more. Maybe it was like $200 million if, if we count the uh, whole seizure, including business assets. But they took like $28 million worth of his personal assets and over false charges. Uh, clearly, he was just he was just acquitted on most of these charges. Most of the serious charges, especially. So, anyway, I got a comment. I just wanted to reply to it. Um, this guy, who's anonymous, doesn't have any of his own videos. He's on a video sharing website, um, which is why I come here. It's a little more personal. And that's what I told him. I mean, he's got no, no subscribers. He's completely anonymous. No picture, no videos. He's here to troll, basically. I mean, why would you be on a video website if you've got no videos? This is a video sharing website. And anyway, uh, he chides me for uh, making jabs at him for his anonymity, telling him he's a coward and he has no accountability. I mean, here's the thing. If you're, uh, if you're not going to use your name and face, if that's just not you, I get that. But at least use references. I always use links. Now, when, I, when I'm, you know, accosting someone <laughs> verbally for their ignorance, I will make my points, but I'll also back them up with quality references and sources.
he, he was talking about how these people were freeloaders for letting their cows graze on public land. These people bought the land rights, so they have a title, they have a deed, they bought the land, um, and the government now wants them to pay grazing fees on top of their ownership of the land that they had already bought, the, the land rights, the grazing rights. Um, so anyway, I said public land, that was bought by the Mundys just because the U.S. government F's uh, property ownership as well as treaties does not mean that the side you may think is right actually is. I see men out there who have no criminal record, just a record of hard work, and I see people trying to persecute them, specifically Harry Reid, who is making millions off land deals in that specific area of Nevada, getting in trouble right and left for corruption. He is involved in multiple hearings, some regarding ethics violations relating to his role in office, reference to some of his dirty dealings here. And now he's retiring. I said the Bundys are targets because of one family. They aren't career criminals. They are just one of many families who have had their land rights trampled on recently because of nothing other than government corruption. Harry is also under investigation in Utah, as well as two attorney generals, both who were arrested and jailed after a sting relating to, I, I meant the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, but anyway, the FCC was also part of it. FCC fraud in investigation and entrepreneur in an entrepreneur in Utah. That's Jeremy Johnson. I said, I encourage you to look into it more. And I gave this reference here, Politico, which I, they're fairly reliable, but you know, they're sort of mainstream media. They have a lot of people who follow them. So I don't know. Anyway, I left some references. I feel, I feel they're quality references. Judicial Watch is a great website as well. Uh, Well-known, high rankings. And yes, I will jab at you. I think if you are on a video sharing platform, you can at least earn a bit of credibility by creating your own videos. I chat on sharing websites. Um, I chat on video sharing websites because it is more personal than a basic blog or a forum. Sometimes I share videos, sometimes I share words, but if I'm on YouTube, it's typically the video thing. I make a video, someone shares their opinion with their creative, personally thought, thought out abilities, like making a video, and there are plenty of trolls on the internet. It's becoming quite a news story in this presidential election. Multiple campaigns get caught using anonymous trolls to derail conversations, so please excuse me while I doubt your credibility. I mean, he doesn't have to make a video. He doesn't have to lend himself any credibility and, and any accountability. That's fine. But I'm not going to take him seriously. And, you know, that's that's my requirement, basically. If if you want me to take you seriously, make a, make a video. Claim it. Own it. You know, that's what I do. I, I have many videos on YouTube. Oh, and as far as him saying that me making videos is the only um, contribution I make, I mean, I've changed laws. I don't know what he's done, but... Free speech laws that restricted speech in Springville, Utah, requiring protesters to get a permit that takes 30 days to get, I nullified that law. It's been on the records, it's, on, it's been on the, the law books since the 1960s as a city ordinance. And I got that nullified in 2010, provably. I got arrested for not having the permit. I, got, I was one of uh, many people at a parade. Uh, the Art City Days Parade, and I was the only one required to have a permit to protest. Um, Mike Lee was there, Senator Mike Lee and other people were there. They didn't have a permit, but I was required to have a permit. So it was discrimination of my right, my civil rights to protest about marijuana laws, and I got that law nullified. And I've done a bit. I've put out newspapers. I've went door to door. I've talked to people at drug court. I've protested at drug court. I, I do what I can do out there, you know. I'm more handicapped now. I mean, I have a gimpy leg and a gimpy shoulder, so yeah, I don't get out a lot anymore, but I used to. You can see my videos. I've made a lot of change. Um, I feel it was good change. So um, so no, I, I probably won't uh, give you a lot of credit if uh, you're anonymous, but um, I'll give you my opinion. There it is. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.